All right, I wanted to give a rundown of the uh, excessive manufacturing's uh, RX-7 2JZ or 1JZ conversion kit that they sell. I'm having a bit of a problem with it, and I wanted to kind of give everybody a heads up as to what they'll have to encounter, because it's not a big deal. It's just something that you should, uh, you should expect to have to take care of. Their kit here comes with the one-inch spacers, and uh, they make it very clear with their engine mounts here that it doesn't fit, and you have to beat on the hand, you know, the hammer in the firewall, pinch weld, and so on and so forth, that you'll need subframe spacers. And these are the subframe spacers that they're talking about. Now, they have already drilled uh, a correct dowel pin hole uh, and a correct bolt hole. Now, the bolt hole, it works fine. It's of the correct size. The dowel pin hole on all of them, however, it does not fit the, the dowel, the pin itself. If you go to put that in there, you'll find real quick. And it requires silicon. Apparently, they say here, you know, you might have a hard time with it. Use a little bit of silicon or something like that to glue it in place while you're working on that. Problem I found is if you go and take this guy here and you were to go over to your subframe and mount it to where it's supposed to be, you'll find it doesn't actually fit. It doesn't go into the hole. They drilled it for a 3 8 But this guy right here is actually at 25 60 second. So... He's 2564, they're drilled to 3 8 You're gonna have to drill it out a little bit more, I found. So, I ended up just grabbing some drill bits <clears throat> and punching this guy out just a little bit more. The bottom a little bit more, see this guy's a little bit more on the bottom than, than on the top, um, because I wanted uh, a snug fit for my dowel on the subframe right here, as you can see. And uh, this guy, now he fits real, real tight on there now. And as you can see, the dowel pin fits right on top of it and snugs in. And now that will snug up really tight. And of course, the hole's still aligned. So if you end up getting one of these kits, be prepared that you're going to have to drill out the uh, the hole for for this guy, or it's just not even going to go on. So just a little heads up to everybody who's doing one of these swaps. I'm sure you've probably already done a bunch of fabrication work and this is going to be a problem. But for those guys who think it's just a quick little bolt on, bolt off, you do have to drill out the tack welds. That's really easy. Then you just throw in their stuff. So, otherwise their, uh, their stuff is good to go. I like it. I recommend them. So I'm sitting here trying to put my uh, 2JZ GTE VVTI blah 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 2JZ setup into the fucking right hand drive RX-7 FC I have here. And I bought the excessive engineering swap kit to do so. And I'd like to just point out that it doesn't fucking line up. None of this shit lines up. All of their stuff is garbage. I made another video about how the... Uh, the subspacing mounts down here don't fucking work for shit either, and you have to punch different holes in them. That's not the only problem. They said that this dimple was the only thing you were going to have to modify, and then you were going to have to trim some of the hood under skin to uh, make the hood close correctly. Otherwise, they say this 2JZ will go right in. Well, what the fuck is this? How the fuck am I supposed to go any farther back How the fuck is this supposed to go any further back if I'm hitting that fucking firewall or if I'm hitting the slave cylinder with my turbo? So they're full of shit. If you have a right hand drive, don't buy any of their shit. They're liars. None of this shit fits. It doesn't work. I have to go single turbo now, so fucking I don't know why I bothered buying the stock ECU or any of this shit. They lied. I have invested a lot into the twins. I just spent all morning reassembling them, getting them back on and getting it set up so that I could put that in, which they, now it makes sense why I had to modify to get it to work. I had to modify the return line right here to go with this return line because none of that shit was gonna work with their stupid bracket set up here. So everything they say is a fucking lie. Don't believe it. Excessive engineering is a fucking scam. Well, after removing all of the uh, turbo and turbo accessories, as you can see, 
it now fits. Literally does not line up at all. Their spacers and their mounts are garbage. This company excessive is crap. I do not suggest them. I think they went under, but if they're still selling this shit, avoid them. Make your own, go with something else. This was crap, but it's in, so. Does not work if it's a right-hand drive. You have to use left-hand drive vehicles with excessive kits, or it's just a waste of fucking money. So, good luck, everyone. That uh, was my experience with excessive. All right, I wanted to touch base on the 2JZ swap that's here in my right-hand drive and kind of give one more heads up on it. So I wanted to point out that the shifter location for the transmission, if you use the tripod, is perfect. However, I'm not entirely sure after all of their quality work if you would have the normal R152 tail shaft modified like they offer, if that would actually be something that's going to be functional. So just go with the tripod. It works great. As to the 2JZ swap that just did not fit in this here right-hand drive, I called them, in case anyone's wondering, I called them when I first started this to see if any of this was going to work with my FC, if they had a kit that I heard they did. They're up in Portland. I'm just down here in Salem. I'm less than 80 miles away from them. I figured this was going to be a really easy transaction. Well, it turns out that they lied baldface on the phone saying that it would fit all FCs when it clearly doesn't fit right-hand drive models. Now, the thing that bothers me the most is after I just got off the phone with them and told them about all of this, and I told them I didn't want my money back, I just told them, you know, I'm going to make this video showing my experience with your guys' company and that the products didn't really fit, and you're going to kind of see that in the video. Uh, I have no problem with modifying, you know, little things like, you know, drilling out the holes that didn't fit or, you know, drilling out wider the holes for the mounting brackets that uh, that didn't, you know, line up with the, the engine's holes. <laughs> that kind of stuff, you expect to do that. That's just is what it is. You know, they're making the brackets possible, so that's cool. However... What I was not expecting is when they told me, you know, when I told them about the uh, the problem with the the right-hand drive not working with the twins at all, and that I had explained to them before I wanted to use the twins, this was kind of a big deal, um, that, you know, this, you know, this is a problem. They said, well, why don't you just go to the single turbo conversion? And they suggested, look at CX Racing. It's a, a sister company, and, you know, they make a single turbo manifold with a nice downpipe. You can just throw that right in there. You don't have to take it off and take it out, and it, everything's going to be fine. And I was like, you know, yeah, that's all right. I've got a GTUS. I'm going to throw it in that. And, you know, so I've got a left-hand drive, and it was originally going to go in that anyways. I just, you know, I was going to restore the GTUS. But now I'm not, and I'm just going to have fun. So... You know, don't worry about it, but I'll look into it. Looked at it that night, looked like it was okay, I was like, all right. But then the next morning, thank God I didn't buy it, I see this on their website. Now they got a big disclaimer on their website saying it doesn't fit right-hand drive models. Now I just cannot, no one can, unless you make a custom intake or a custom exhaust manifold for your turbo. There is absolutely no way to put the 2JZ, GTE, Aristo Motor, or Super Motor into this here right-hand drive RX-7 FC without custom tubular manifolds. So I'm going to throw it back in the GTUS, and I'm going to, I've already got it started on a 13B for this thing, and I'm just going to continue down the way that it was supposed to be. This thing, a 13B, and the GTUS, a 2JZ, and I've got my perfect mint cars in there and on the other shops and everything. It's just going to continue as it was supposed to be. Yeah, if you uh, plan on putting a 2JZ GTE into an RX-7, make sure it is not a right-hand drive. While these cars are amazing and fun, they uh, they absolutely do not take 2JZ GTEs unless you want to custom make the uh, turbo manifolds for it. So yeah, once again, that was my experience with uh, excessive engineering. Um, I'd just say don't go with that company. Find uh, someone else.